Good morning, y'all. Oh, I don't know about anyone else, but I had a rough night last night at work. Um, rough meaning that the tragedy that happened on yesterday is just still so fresh on my mind and on my heart. You know, I tried to put myself in those parents' places, you know. I tried to, if I could, just take some or feel some of, some of their pain. I prayed, you know, for them. And I just pray that the Spirit of God will comfort them and that they will receive His comfort. You know, last night I was talking to my daughter. And, you know, she asked, you know, she was saying it was a tragedy too. And she was like, Mom, you know, why why would God let this happen? She said, I just, I can't understand that, Mom. She said, I can't understand why God would allow this to happen. So, I had to immediately tell her, you know, I said, Shalonda, one thing we must never do when tragedy happens is to blame God and get mad with God. And that's what happens a lot of time. People lose their faith, give up hope. You know, they get angry with God. There can't be a God if, if he allows such a tragic thing to happen to children, you know. And my answer to her was, one thing I know for sure is that, is that God is a good God. And in him dwells no evil. Nothing bad is in God. God can't do bad. The thing is, God is sovereign. We don't understand him. We don't know why he allows things to happen. We don't know what he wants us sometimes to see or sometimes to get out of whatever lesson it is. Or whatever he allows. And another thing, God, all life belongs to God. All life belongs to God. And one day, we are all going back to our creator. We're all going back to God. I don't know how I'm going back. I don't know if I'm going to see him in the sky when he come. I don't know if cancer going to take me, a heart attack, a car accident. I don't know if I'm just falling away in my sleep. I don't know if somebody going to come shoot me. I don't know how my exit on earth is going to be. But I would be so careful never to blame God, however he choose, to get me into eternity. We must accept his sovereignty, that he is in control. Don't blame him. Don't be like the thief on the cross and say, if you're God, save me and save yourself. Don't be that type of fool. Be the type of person, even if you don't know everything about God, don't be that crazy. The other thief, he said, I, you know, in his heart, he probably was saying, I've, I've done wrong. And I don't know a lot of things. And I may be crazy a little bit, but I ain't that crazy to not know that this is the son of God. So don't be that crazy and not know who Jesus is and not know who God is. Amen. Amen. So in this time of hurt and pain and things just not being answered, don't blame God. Don't get angry with him. Don't get angry with him. God is good all the time. Even in sad times, and I experienced death in my family. I've lost my mom. I've lost my brother. I've lost cousins, friends. I've lost loved ones, people I felt like should have just lived on. Why, God? I don't know why. I don't know why God allows some things to happen. But I'm not going to falsely charge him. I'm not going to falsely accuse him of being bad and evil. So now I'm going to throw off my faith and I'm not going to trust you no more because you can't be God. And if you allow such to happen, no, that's why you are God. 
because you allowed it. And we don't understand. But we're not going to cast off our faith. We're going to still trust in him. And hold on to him. Because one day we're going to understand all these things. More clearly now. So I'm telling you. Even in the midst of being angry. Even in the midst of the sorrow. The hurt and the pain. Don't charge God foolishly. He is a good shepherd. Amen. And he gave life for however long it is. Amen. So hold on to your faith, y'all. And don't charge God foolishly. He's still good. God bless him.